Ryan here. In this tutorial, we'll discuss workflows, the fire behind JIRA software. A workflow represents the work process a team follows. The simple workflow might suggest three basic statuses of an issue, to do, in progress, and done. Using these statuses, teams track the issues they're working on. In this tutorial, we'll learn how JIRA software uses workflows to help teams manage a range of dynamic projects. We'll look at a few examples, and we'll build out a workflow of our own. Let's get started. You may not know this yet, but you're already familiar with workflows. Whether it's tracking a new website build or integrating a back-end system, every project has an order of operations and a logical flow. In JIRA, workflows have structure. Each step in the workflow is called a status, and the path from one status to another we call a transition. A common approach to working with workflows, and also an agile best practice, is a task-based view. In a task-based approach, the user takes a task and delivers it all the way through to completion. If users need assistance along the way, they can transfer ownership of an issue, or they can collaborate through at mentions to get other people to give advice or help with the issue they're working on. We learn about both of these in later tutorials. Teams work together to transition issues through the workflow from the first column, to do, to the final column, done. Many development teams begin by using a simplified workflow. In JIRA software, the simplified workflows created by default is part of creating a new project in Scrum Board. Teams can customize this workflow to better fit their requirements. We'll learn how a bit later. When we created a project in a Scrum Board in the last tutorial, there was a simplified workflow associated with the board we created. Let's take a closer look at what happened. We created a Scrum software development project. As part of that task, we saw an outline of the initial workflow to be applied to the project. In fact, it was the simplified workflow that was used. These three statuses, to do, in progress, and done, were the columns on the board and represent the three basic steps or statuses in the workflow. We wound up on the backlog page for the new board, ready to start adding tasks. But before we do that, let's learn a little bit more about columns. Columns are a visual indication of where issues are in the workflow. Issues waiting to be worked on, for example, appear in the first column on the left. As the issue is worked on, it makes its way right through each column in the workflow. Here's a golden nugget to grasp about columns and workflow. The columns you see on the board are associated with statuses in the workflow. As you move an issue from one column to the next, JIRA automatically transitions it through the corresponding statuses in the workflow. Got it? Great. Board administrators typically set up the workflow to match their team's work process. They might add or remove columns from the workflow if necessary. They can also give the columns any name that makes sense. Column names don't have to be the same as the associated status. On my team, for example, it's important that we review and test any new bug fixes before they go live on our website. In order to make sure each bug is properly resolved, we add a QA column to our board. We name that column Bug Test. By adding this column, we're able to track with better precision which bugs have been picked up and worked on by an engineer and which of those bug fixes are ready for review. This step is the next step after in progress, which means issues must be transitioned to the QA review before they can transition to done. This is a great example of how columns relate to the workflow. Let's add a new column to our simplified workflow. This is the easiest way to customize your team's workflow. To add a new column, open your board, click board, then Configure. Then select Columns. Next, click the Add Column button. Give your column a name, then click Add. Finally, drag the column to place it in the correct position. Use the Active Sprints view of your board to see the column you just added. If you haven't yet added any issues to your project, and we haven't yet, none will display. The board will appear empty. 
However, you can see that the new column is in place and ready to go. As your team grows and your requirements grow, it's likely that you'll outgrow the simplified workflow. There are very common use cases where the simplified workflow is, well, too simple for our team's requirements. Luckily, in Jira software, you can create new workflows to match your team's needs. To customize the workflow, you can use a pre-existing workflow from another Jira project, or you can create a new workflow from scratch, or even download a custom workflow from the Jira marketplace. Most of the workflows in the marketplace are free. Your team defines the workflow requirements, and your Jira administrator puts together the proper workflow from to do to done. The board administrator then maps the columns to statuses. Once that happens, your team's ready to go. As we've seen, all work items eventually reach the last column, done. But what's done? It all depends on how your team defines a completed issue. Let's clarify with an example. Imagine running a relay race. You take the first leg of the race while your teammate takes the second. Once you complete your leg, you pass off the baton. For you, the race is over. But for your team, it's just begun. Your team is not done until your last runner crosses the finish line. That finish line is the last column on an Agile board, which is mapped to the status done. Many steps and handoffs must happen before the team reaches the done column. To help determine what done looks like, teams define their definition of done. The definition of done is a contract or list of requirements that need to happen for an issue to be considered complete. Here's an example. A software team may identify their definition of done requirements in the following way. Code builds without warnings. Code is unit tested. And documentation is updated. Three different steps. When you move an issue to the done column, you're saying that it's indeed complete and meets your team's specific requirements. The definition of done is an area that your team will spend significant time refining to get it right. Let's take a few moments to review what we have learned. Take some time to apply what you've learned in your own projects. Check out Atlassian University for more great JIRA tutorials.